Well, Grand Massive, I'm F Ziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make Moringa dumplings. Uh, flour is a staple in our Jamaican diet, and you know, we can't just eat the source of flour, we have to enrich it. And so, what I will be doing is to show you how you can simply enrich your meals, no matter how you have no money, no matter how small it is, you can enrich it so that you can get the most out of it, you can get all the nutrients that you need. So, yes, I'm going to show you how I make this Moringa dumpling. Now, first, you will need to get your flour and some cornmeal and your moringa of course and a little salt now you're gonna add your salt to taste if you don't want to add any salt that is also okay it's just up to your personal preference I'm just sharing a very creative idea that you can use to make your meals more interesting and nutritional now the next thing you want to do is just to add your water and knead your dumplings so this is going to be very quick and simple now you just want to knead your dumpling, get your flour coming together. Now the proportion, I'm going to be very honest with you, I'm just adding water just to make the, the flour come together. I did not use a, a specific proportion. If you want me to do something where I'm going to be specific about the ingredients that i use you can let me know in the comment section but for this i'm just basically sharing the idea with you now moringa as you know it is jam-packed with a lot of benefits it has zinc it has iron it has potassium it has vitamin a and a host of other vitamins and minerals that are good for you also I know a lot of persons just put moringa and these things on their hair saying they want hair growth and they want to have healthy beautiful skin but you need to get these things inside your body and so adding moringa to your dumplings or your soups whatever it is is just one of the ways that you can increase your intake of these nutritional foods all right so what you do after you've kneaded your flour you're going to make up your dough according to the portion size that you want and add this to your boiling water ensure that you stir your pot so that the dumplings don't stick to the bottom So when your dumplings are cooked, remove them from the pot and this is how I serve my dumpling. You would notice a piece of saltfish in the pot. So just economically I boil my saltfish with the in the water and that we also adds the salt to the water because I don't put no salt in the in the pot. So yes, the saltfish gives off that salt and we just boil the dumplings and this is how I serve it with some yams, some cook up saltfish and of course the moringa dumpling trust me this is tasty now we've come to the end of the video if you liked what i just shared go ahead and give my video a like and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel i share with you things that i do to live naturally on a budget thank you see you in the next video